Well, for us, it has been a, an extraordinary experience. Uh, having been invited to the Synod was already overwhelming, but uh, having had the opportunity to participate in the Synod uh, for us is uh, an experience, an unforgettable experience. Uh, we had uh, the opportunity to listen to the uh, Synod Fathers, and there was plenty of opportunity also for us to speak during the meetings of the, the small group. Uh, we, we felt we were very welcome, and having had the opportunity to bring the perspective of the family to the discussions in the group uh, may have benefited uh, the group as well. Yes, definitely. Um, I'll speak to the Western side of the world because here we're talking about a global phenomena. So of course they were, they were very concerned with problems in Africa and in India, but um, to our Western side also. So uh, all the social problems were taken into consideration. And then we gradually went, trickled down to the family level, which is the domestic church, which is in a crisis itself, but with a lot of hope. And I think there's a lot of consensus in all the groups that we have to start with the families. If we want to, let's say, re-Christianize the world, it has to start with the families. It has to start with us in a mission. Families have to be witnesses to other families. And that's how Christianity will spread, and um, I guess just like the first centuries, right? And that, that sends a very strong message to parents that they have to be the first educators uh, in faith, in virtues, these have to be passed on, and they have to be passed on when all of us within the family are living these, the same truths. And I think that was, that's something we should concentrate on in this synod. What do all the synod fathers agree upon? This is definitely one strong point. Well, I think uh, the correct expectation would be a document that comes from the hands of the Pope. So whatever comes from the bishop, the bishop's uh, synod uh, assembly, is, is a recommendation. So it should be taken as such, a recommendation to the Pope for a future document, possibly an apostolic exhortation. And what I think families expect is that the church reaffirms the concept of family, that marriage is between one man and one woman, and all that ensues from that. And I think that's, that's what's, what's going to be heard. There's going to be a um, description of the role of men, the role of women, which needs to be clarified, especially because many of the social issues that we have are consequence of the fact that we have had in the last few decades the absence of fathers in the house, in the home, and so I think there is going to be a message in that direction, as Katie said, to um, give a restart to the process of evangelization within the family itself. After all, children can learn from the mother piety, religiosity, but that establishes itself in their personalities, mostly because of the role of men in the same aspects.